Hey my people, welcome back again to Property Wealth. My name is John Mutombo. Um, nice to see you people again. I hope you guys are keeping safe. Um, me myself, I've been keeping safe. I was I was a little bit unwell, but I'm much better now. Feeling a lot stronger. Um, so we're back in this business again. We're back in the game. Yes, yes, champ. We're back in this. We ain't letting it go, baby. Yes. Anyway, today I am going to be giving you guys an update on what I've been doing. Um, for the past two weeks or so, I've been quiet. I haven't been posting videos, but I have been busy. Um, so I'm going to discuss what I've been doing in, um, in, in a low key. And uh, yeah, so you can just stick around. yes yes champ yes champ how we doing people how we doing how's everybody's health out there you guys keeping good you guys keeping cool yeah you guys still washing your hands and doing all them you know nice personal hygiene stuff i hope you guys are doing this doing you keeping safe you're staying at home you know you're not going out to the park you know especially you londoners i heard you know the government are saying londoners are not that they're not listening so you guys please stay at home you know let's save the nhs and i hope you guys have been clapping for nhs staff members because yes we we work hard um anyway what have i been doing i've been quiet for about two weeks uh most people feel i'm ghosted i'm tired of youtube i'm done nah guys that's not true um i've just been chilling doing a bit of research if you guys remember i posted the video and uh, you know talking about the you know economy the crash you know how one can take advantage from the crash so i wasn't just preaching um i was you know doing what i was also saying you know i told people those who got properties if they go properties this is probably the best time to refinance uh, to get a better deal um, which is what I did with my property. Um, this current property that I'm in now, I managed to refinance it. And um, this finan refinancing is, is coming to an end now. The completion, the completion should be the end of this month. Um, I, I'm looking to take out the equity. So I was with Halifax and now I'm refinancing with Barclays. Um, the interest rate is good. So I will be saving a lot of money. Um, yeah so i will be saving quite a lot of money because i think i'll be probably saving about 100 150 pound so if you know it's it will be it will, it will, it's quite of a good a big difference to what i was paying before the mortgage um so yeah i managed to get a better deal uh went, went through the whole refinancing procedure and what i did is because obviously i've been i've been i've had this property since 2015 and uh, you know i've been paying the mortgages and everything so and plus as time as it is elapsing the price value you know kept increasing um i got the property for about it was 160 in the market however i managed to negotiate the price uh, at that time so i managed to get it for 142 um which was a four bedroom house i managed to get it for four 142 and I managed to convert the garage because um, obviously you know creating value of a property is you know depending on what you deal with it as well um, I will talk about equity building um, on a different video but I'm not going to go too much in details in this video because this video just said I'm just giving you guys a quick highlight on what I've been doing so yeah I had converted the garage um, I had changed the garden I removed the grass i put fake grass and you know every, most things in the house has changed i removed all the carpet i put wood floors uh, new fresh paint everything um this is from when i bought the house in 2015 guys um so when um i had a surveyor um, come to value the house they valued it at uh 240 so if you guys imagine i bought it at 142 in 2015 and then five years after 2020 they got the the price has gone up for 142 till 
240 140 to 240 okay you know you do the mass um so that's the lot that's the, the amount of equity uh in the house obviously don't forget i've also been paying off the mortgage um so currently i only had one uh, 16 left in the you know 116k left in the um in the mortgage because i've been paying off the, uh, some of the money um so yeah um i've managed to do that so when i refinanced however i was not smart you know um uh, i wanted to be a bit conservative i didn't want to use all the money out you know so i didn't want to sell the property as one 240 you know what i did uh you know when the bank came i sold it to the bank i refinanced it for 200 uh, rather than 240 um so i was just trying to be conservative because obviously i wasn't sure you know with what's been happening with the covid 19 with you know you know the panic in the market I didn't want the bank to reject me, to reject my offer. So I just made sure I put it really low, um, which again, um, uh, to be honest, I don't mind because I'm still getting a good amount of equity out. Um, so the bank accepted the, the offer. Um, and now they, you know, obviously have to get solicitor, conveyance. And now they were going through exchanging contracts and everything. And then once the new, um, the new loan has been accepted the new mortgage has been accepted um, i'm taking 90 percent of the new loan um so 200k i will be able to take 90 percent of that money you know as a loan um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take that money the 90 percent of 200k pay but uh, my old bank which is halifax pay off the remaining of their mortgage and the rest which is the equity all this equity i'm gonna keep it with me and what i'm planning to do with that is get another property and i've already started doing research at the moment i'm debating between two areas um debating between birmingham and liverpool um why birmingham because i think the rental market is quite good in birmingham um it's a hot area as well and liverpool um most are more tending to go towards Liverpool because I think Liverpool hasn't reached its you know capital growth you know property Liverpool is still relatively very cheap you know Birmingham prices have already gone up most places prices have already gone up but when you look at Liverpool prices hasn't really moved much um so I think there's a potential there you know for if I jump in now I think there will be a you know a growth soon and you know which I could benefit from and the renting in Liverpool as well is not bad. I've been re really researched as good areas to rent. Very touristic, uh, very historical. Um, so that's what I've been doing. Um, I will keep you guys up to date. So when I go and view properties, once all this lockdown is done, and I'll be, you know, my aim is to get two properties. Um, so i could get either one in birmingham one in liverpool or two in liverpool so guys just let me know what you know which one should i go for is it birmingham or liverpool or you know what 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 do you guys think um i'll let you guys comment and i will take some suggestions so because right now i'm confused myself um but they uh, i'm seeing some good potential in liverpool especially the fact that you know in terms of capital growth i think i will benefit a lot in liverpool than any other places um so yeah so that's what i've been doing that's my plans um i, I hope you guys enjoyed the video um sorry i haven't been posting for quite you know a while about two 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 weeks i haven't posted anything but i was quite unwell um but I'm better now and we're back in business so you'll be seeing more of me. We're back in the road, baby. I hope you guys have a lovely day. Stay safe and I shall see you soon. Peace.